Uh, yeah, and, and then you won't leave during the show. We would really appreciate that as well. So once you're in here, you're stuck. Um, that's not actually true, but we would appreciate it if you would, if you would stay in the theater for the duration of the show. And a few other things to mention. Um, as, I, as I said, make sure to keep up with Paramount Bristol and all their amazing shows that they have coming up, as well as Birthplace of Country Music. We have a bunch of great programming coming up. We've got a new uh, one-day event called In the Pines that's happening June 1st. Yeah, it sounds like some folks know about that already. That's a, it's going to be a really large-scale, awesome, awesome event. Um, tickets are available at inthepinesbristol.com. Dwight Yoakam's the headliner. Um, we've got Elk King. We've got Paul Cawthon and Wyatt Flores on that bill as well. So it's stout. It's a stout bill. Um, inthepinesbristol.com. And pretty soon we're going to be live. So one of the things, that, this is what I was going to say. Because this is a live broadcast, we need you all to be rowdy all night, okay? You got to keep the, keep the energy level, like, up here. It's, it's very important. We want everyone who watches Farm and Fun Time to be very, very jealous that they're not in Bristol. <laughs> so just, just think about how, how, uh, how, how jealous you're going to make all the folks watching the show and that you were the one of the people who got a ticket to this sold-out show. It is sold out, by the way. Um, so, on the count of three, y'all make some noise. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, that's good. All right, we'll keep that, keep that up, and we're good to go. And we're going to be live in just a few minutes, um, so sit tight. And I'm excited about the show. Are y'all? Good. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Three minutes, three minutes. Check, check, check. Check, check. Two check. minutes. Two minutes.
here tonight for our very first Farm and Fun Time of the year. And of course, it is a sold out show here at the Paramount. So all you good folks who bought tickets, why don't you make some noise for the people at home? <clears throat> yeah. We're all happy that you're here with us this evening, and we're happy that all the folks tuning in, wherever you might be, we appreciate you being here as well. Uh, tonight's show is definitely going to be one for the books, y'all. It is going to be a banging show. Uh, it's been a while since I've been in Bristol, but we're so thrilled to have them back here tonight on their third leg of the Angels in Science Fiction Tour. St. Paul and the Broken Bones are here, y'all. <laughs> Also, very excited to have support from a group from Bowling Green, Kentucky, an eclectic indie folk band called Sugar Daisy is here as well. And if you didn't know, we always do a farm report for the Radio Bristol's Farm Time. That puts the farm in the fun time. And uh, we're going to be headed over to Holston Valley to Mud Hollow Farms, where we're going to learn about hydroponic lettuce. Give it up, y'all. Yeah, hydroponic lettuce. Yeah. Y'all know about hydroponic stuff, I'm sure. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> and y'all, I'm really, really excited and proud to uh, let y'all know about our new Farm and Fun Time band. I want to make them welcome. Please make welcome Sarah Griffin here on bass. Hello. Nick Lawrence on guitar. <laughs> Levi Trent on the drums. And Rebecca Branson Jones on pedal steel. And uh, we're very excited about it. We're, we've, we've even practiced twice before this show. Yeah. <laughs> um, one other thing I want to mention is that our entire staff for the Birthplace of Country Music is here tonight hanging out with us. Uh, one of the hardest working staffs around. And uh, just, just so you all know, you know, Radio Bristol is a part of Birthplace of Country Music. We do so much work uh, at downtown and in the community, and really happy to have all of our staff here for support tonight. Give it up for all them. Why don't you all make your way, make make yourselves known? <clears throat> all right, we're gonna jump on into things here and jump into a song. Here's one called Six Days on the Road."
This wouldn't be a live radio show without a jingle, so we're going to get you a jingle here. How do y'all feel about Eastman Credit Union? Yeah. We feel great about them. They're wonderful sponsors of Radio Bristol's Farm and Fun Time, and we're going to get you a jingle written just for them. for their support of Radio Bristol's Farm and Fun Time. Remember, ECU is there for you. From using your phone to transfer money, to making a deposit, signing loan documents from anywhere. For more information, visit ecu.org and join Farm and Fun Time and say, Thank you, Eastman Credit Union. All right, we're going to jump into our first act of the evening, y'all. 
After knowing each other for a number of years, Bowling Green, Kentucky friends Zach and Johnny decided to start making music together and by 2016 formed their band Sugar Daisy. The duo have worked hard to create a genre-bending, unique blend of folk, rock and roll, and indie sounds and are reaching large audiences with their releases of their recent projects and most recent singles, Where the Wildflowers Grow and Slip and Fall. We're glad to have them on the show here tonight, kicking things off in support of, of St. Paul for the whole run of shows. Y'all, please make welcome to the Paramount stage, Sugar Daisy. That's my
Thank you, guys. We're Sugar Daisy from Bowling Green, Kentucky. Uh, we are so stoked to be here with you all.
Thank you guys so much. In the distance, I see a shining light. In the sky, I met the maker when we survived. This lovely life, what will begin to make it in when we survive? enough time left for that one.
line I'll show you why it scares me It's a way to climb To my imagination I am passenger Give it up, y'all, Sugar Daisy.
kicking things off tonight. Right, good stuff. Check them out at sugardaisy.com. And uh, lots of cool projects coming out from them. And uh, do y'all enjoy that? Good. Well, now you got to sit through us for two more songs. All right, we'll play you. Get you one here called The Spider and the Fly. Sitting, thinking, drinking, thinking, I wonder what to do when I'm through tonight. Smoking, hoping, maybe just hoping, some little girl will pass by. I want to be alone, but I left my girl at home, and I remember what she said. Jump right ahead of your dead. get you an old, old country song, one of the most famous early country songs that we know of, old Jimmy Rogers song. Y'all know Jimmy Rogers. It's only fitting to do a Jimmy Rogers tune when we're in Bristol. And uh, we'll get you one here called T for Texas.
right, now another word from a generous sponsor, Toyota of Bristol. For 15 years, Toyota's been the best-selling car in America, and with good reason. Toyota's a reputation for building reliable, long-lasting vehicles, retaining high resale value for their models. Toyota also has a strong commitment to sustainability with goals to achieve zero carbon emissions from its vehicles by 2050. For more information, visit toyotabristol.com. T-O-Y-O-T-A is the best-selling car in the USA. Come and test drive once a day, and you can bet you'll be impressed with your T-O-I-O-T-A in Bristol. Thank you, Toyota Bristol. Thank you. So far, let's hang out. It's okay. Uh, is that, is that it? Yeah. All right, we're almost there, y'all. We're uh, closing in to our, our headlining artist this evening. But first, we got to jump into the farm report. The Farm Report profiles regional farmer, farmers strengthening our community through sustainable, eco-friendly practices, helping to positively impact our region's food access and health. Every month we visit a regional farm and do a profile piece on that farm. This month was no different. Uh, we didn't, this month we didn't go too far away from home. We went down to the salt, South Holston to visit Jake Slagle of Mud Hollow Farms. Jake started the family farm back in 2017 and has been developing and focusing production uh, on the farm over the years. In 2021, they built a large-scale greenhouse to focus on hydroponic lettuces that they now supply to restaurants across the region. They also bring their top-of-the-line products to families throughout the region through sales at various farmers' markets uh, and via their popular CSA. We spoke with owner Jake Slagle to learn a little bit more about their impressive produce. Let's check out the video. Okay, my name is Jake Slagle. We are at uh, Mud Hall Farms here in Bristol, Tennessee, out near the South Holston Dam. I'm not sure exactly what year my grandfather bought this land. It was probably back in the 70s or 80s. Um, was mostly used for uh, hunting, fishing. We had some ponds that my grandfather fished. I worked with the uh, special needs programs at Tennessee High on the and a bunch of their gardens and kind of helped build some raised beds and some hoop houses for them and I watched how much they loved it and it kind of made me fall in love with working in the garden and growing stuff and especially being able to eat your own food or eat whatever you grow that always is an enjoyable enjoyable factor of it. So East Tennessee I feel like it was very is very um, kind of old school with how they farm and it's there's nothing wrong with that there's very old school with kind of how they have always grown their food and grown everything so moving out west i really got a good good idea of new ways to grow things and kind of new ideas on how you could grow your food and healthier ways to grow your food and cleaner ways for the environment to grow your food um, so hydroponics was kind of the main thing that i did out there that i really felt like could be beneficial here and work as a work as kind of a business model here so the setup, especially on this system, it was my first full setup of doing a system was this one. It took, uh, took me a few weeks kind of to get the idea of all the kinks and everything, but it definitely helped um, from where I worked at school and um, to know like this important that everything's going downhill, kind of the, the drains and everything like that. So it was, it, my previous knowledge from college helped a lot putting this one together because it was able to say, I, I remember how important it was that this was like this. So we do, especially during the winter and spring months, we do a Salanova mix. Um, we harvest every week. We take a bunch to the Asheville Farmers Market and sell to a distributor there called Mountain Foods. They sell to a lot of the restaurants and a lot of the, uh, 
um, buyers down there. We also, it is one of our staples in our CSA boxes that we deliver every Thursday. So every week if you deliver, or if you order a box, you're gonna get um, some of this lettuce in it, which is kind of everybody's favorite, favorite part of every week's box is our lettuce. So we, we keep it on the menu and, and we sell a lot of it that way. We've got a green crisp and a red crisp. We try to do one of each color. We do, if we have a variety, we want to do a red and a green just for looks purposes in a case. It looks a lot better. So we've got a, re a red and green crisp. We've got a red and green oak leaf and then a red and green butter. And we use those, like in your CSA box, you'll get one of each color. So it kind of makes a good salad. You can mix them up. There's definitely not as many young people farming is what we need. We need more young people farming. We need more young people getting out in the fields or in greenhouses kind of learning about how to grow our food because like I said in 10 years who knows who knows who's going to be growing it. I really want to, first of all I want this area to kind of expand growing or supporting local farmers and eating fresher and eating because it's hard for us to know what's going to happen in 10 years with our food sources and everything so it's important that we practice now buying local and kind of learning about where our food's coming from, how our food's grown, and the importance of eating clean and local food. So our Facebook, we always post our menus on Facebook, kind of keep it up to date. Um, our website's mudhollowfarmstn.com. Um, the easiest way, come out here. You can come see us uh, Wednesday through Sunday, 10 to 4. We're always out here. So if you ever see us over here, stop in and and give us a yell because we love we love having people around. Just because I said I enjoyed the peace and quiet doesn't mean I don't <laughs> want people over here. Yeah. To learn more about food and farming, visit Appalachian Resource Conservation and Development Council. Their website is arcd.org. Big thanks to Jake at Mud Hollow. Uh, and to learn more about their lettuces at, in CSA, visit mudhollowfarmstn.com. For our listeners, you can view all of our farm reports over on our Radio uh, Bristol Facebook page at WBCM Radio Bristol. Y'all have been so patient. Give yourself a big round of applause. All right, y'all, it's that time. Closing out this evening, we've got with us an absolute Bristol favorite uh, who's joined us numerous times at Bristol Rhythm and Roots Reunion. Founded way back in 2011 in Birmingham, Alabama, St. Paul and the Broken Bones took the world by storm. With their high energy, talked about live shows, landing them on stages with some of the biggest artists around, like the Stones, Elton John, and many others. St. Paul and the Broken Bones continue to stretch and grow, evolving with every album, branching out from old school soul into many surprising musical spaces. Their most recent album, Angels and Science Fiction, on ATO Records, was written in the span of just a few weeks after band leader Paul learned that his wife was pregnant with their daughter. Since its release, it's seen widespread critical acclaim. We are pretty stoked to have these guys here with us tonight. Are y'all? How about a big welcome tonight on Farm and Fun Time, St. Paul and the Broken Bones, y'all.
Yep.
with a pistol in hand. Find a bank in Birmingham. Let them know you've got a plan. Humble and sky. Gotta know when to take a shot Thank you very much. So, some of you may know this, some of you may not, but my wife is from Bristol. Uh, I, uh, I spent one of our, our first dates together, I always say, uh, was at uh, Bristol Rhythm and Roots, and um, it was in 2010, I think. So, it's been a long time, but. I was uh, calling her today, telling her all the things that had changed on State Street and all that kind of stuff. And it's, uh, it's pretty amazing the connection I always have with this city. I fell in love in the city. So uh, uh, Bristol is a very special place to me. So thank you all so much for being here. On that note, I'm going to sing a song about heartbreak. Just before her. Oh, 
from Mr. Kevin Leon on the drums over there. Mr. Chad Fish on the trombone. And Mr. Alan Brandstatter on the trumpet.
I love you too. Ellen, all the stars are named. Hoping they just tell her, hey, girl, I love you, baby. I love you, baby. Running all through my brain. Wishing it I could stay and just hold you, baby.
you very much. Gamble on the keys over there.
Come out, I'll see y'all for a little bit. Ow. Sing. 
you so much, Bristol. Y'all want to hear one more song? How about two more songs? All right. Hey, thank y'all so much for being here tonight. Like I said, this is a very special place to me. And uh, it's always, it's always going to be a stop, no matter how in the hell we get here, all right? So we're going to do it.
Thank you all so much. Thank you. So, recently we celebrated 10 years of releasing our debut record called Half the City. And this song we're about to play, the last song we're gonna play tonight, is the one that started it all. Wrote it in Jesse's living room in Birmingham, Alabama. And changed both of our lives forever. So the song's called Broken Bones of Pocket Change. Young love. has made me old I, 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 restless oh and blue when I come oh when she goes that's goodbye to my poor soul
Broken Bones, all the way from Birmingham, Alabama. Thank you. St. Paul and the Broken Bones, y'all, give it up. Their latest record, Angels in Science Fiction, check that out at stpaulandthebrokenbones.com. Seems like y'all enjoyed that. Well, thank you again for coming to Radio Bristol's Farm and Fun Time. A big thanks to St. Paul and the Broken Bones. Sugar Daisy, how about another round of applause for them? Jake at Mud Hollow Farm, our whole team here, Radio Bristol and Paramount Bristol, give a big round of applause to them. Gracious hosts. And of course, we appreciate all our folks at home watching and our live in studio audience. Uh, next month, we've got, we're back at the birthplace of country music with a great show featuring East Nash Grass and Allison DeGroote and Tatiana Hargraves. Visit listenradiobristol.org. Don't forget to check out the Farm and Fun Time Noon Show, made possible by Permatile Concrete Products, hosted by the Cody Norris Show. Big thanks to our sponsors, Toyota Bristol, AR and CD, and the Bristol Hotel. Thanks, y'all, for tuning in and hanging out with us for Farm and Fun Time. We'll see you next time. Y'all have a beautiful night. Six by ten, four.